let's go to Proverbs chapter 28, verse 27. And I believe this scripture is, re is relevant for today. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack. Okay. But he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Okay. So if you are in lack, I believe a thing that you can do is to give to other people and you may say Kevin I have no money to give to other people okay where in this scripture does it say that you have to give money to another person where show me where do you see M O N E Y or C O I N S or D-I-N-E-R-O. Where do you see that in this scripture? Listen. Can you give your time to another? Can you cook for a person? Can you mow a person's lawn? Can you clean for a person? Can you do a person's hair? Like fix up their hair? Can you cut a person's hair? Can you walk an elderly woman across the street? Can you do something for other people? Well, Kevin, you know, I'm not... I'm real busy and I don't really want to do things for people. Maybe that is your problem. I believe we all can do something for another person unless we are really handicapped or paralyzed, right? So if you are in lack, Instead of complaining about it, instead of doing bad things to get money, how about you begin doing or begin, how can I say that? How about you begin or do more in the area of helping others or giving to others, if I am saying that correctly. I believe this goes along with you reap what you sow, right? <laughs> I believe so. So if you are stingy, selfish, selfish, don't care about other people, what do you believe is going to come back to you? Think about that. Let me stop here. God bless you. So help others. <laughs> okay.